Carl and Brendan here from Games, Brains and Headbang Live, GBHBL.com for sure. It's battle reaction time. And Brendan has nominated something that I'm pretty sure I've heard of. Don't know if I've heard the song though, Cypher System. It's a Swedish mellow deck. That's it. <laughs> yep. Um, surprise. It's part of your little collection, your, not a little collection like I'm talking down, but a collection that you kind of discovered at the same time in it, Cypher yeah, System, right, Night yeah. Rage, um, and Sky Symmetry. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I can't really remember there was an app you could get on a phone where you could put a band in and it would tell you other bands that would like it. I remember. Yeah, and it was Night Rage who I kind of got into really first. Mm-hmm. I wasn't really, I mean, I already knew, Mel- we, we both knew Melodeth, but we were listening to bands like At The Gates, do you know what I mean? But I guess Night Rage. In Flames was, and stuff like was, that. Yeah, the second wave for me. And I remember putting them in, and it gave me like all these other bands, Cypher System being one of them. Um, weirdly enough, though, despite the fact that it's a melody, this is probably one of the riskier ones I think I've done with you. And I actually owned an art about doing it, and that is because I've got a feeling it could be seen to be quite generic in, in the genre. Um, Cypher System themselves are an, an anomaly of a band, right? So they actually formed in 1995 under the name Eternal Grief and they released a couple of albums, an EP and two albums, I think something like that. And then they changed their name to Cypher System in 2001. Uh, it, they didn't release their first album uh, until 2004, three years later. And okay. then their second album, Communicate the Storms, was released in 2011. So seven, so a four-year gap to the debut, a seven-year gap to the second. Just before the release of Communicate the Storms, they got signed to Nuclear Blast. Yeah. Got released. And they've never done a single thing since. So they got signed to Nuclear Blast, released this album, then went completely silent, except for the fact that they are still reasonably active on Facebook. And over the last four, five, six years, there's regular kind of updates of, you know, that kind of like hinting of like something might Something's happen. going on in the studio, guys. Nothing ever did. Uh, the most recent thing, though, which could in theory be a good thing, is that for the first time in a long, long time, actually, um, Wikipedia got updated not too long ago uh, with a new vocalist, like Mark Dan has joined the band in 2020, which is Christian Alverson, who used to sing for uh, Scar Symmetry. So maybe, maybe <laughs> there's something happening there, but it's kind of an interesting thing. Like this, this album, Communicate the Storms, uh, is an album I really, really enjoy. I really liked it. And then when I listened to this band around the same time as Night Ridge and that, I actually thought they were the ones that were quite different. These days, I can look back on it and see that actually it's not. I mean, I still love the album, and this is like the main sort of song on it, being the title and everything like that. You know, so which is why I'm why I'm playing it, while simultaneously being aware that because even in my head, I doubt it a little bit. As in, go, I really love this song, but is it generic? <laughs> that makes me think it's risky. But you never know. Because well, as we always say, it can be generic, but if it's done really fucking well, then it doesn't matter. Um, yep, it's fine. I'm going to give this one a go. Three, two, one, go. Take a breath, dude. Remember when I first saw this video, I thought it was like a soft man eating the beat. I think that's quite well. Yeah. Hmm. 
does. Interesting. Who's singing the play? <laughs> oh. Yeah, do you know what I mean? I couldn't work out who it was. Yes, it's pretty obvious why you had that trepidation in regards to it being generic or being a more a generic mellow deaf song. Um, of course, you are right. However, I think it's almost, I think, it, I, and I know you didn't, you, 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 you didn't, don't believe it actually is that generic, but it's not. Like, I think it's better than that. I think it's got more than enough interesting stuff going on it to overlook uh the mellow death sound and repeats and stuff like that had had it not had that brief clean vocal singing part it might have been easy for me to be a bit like ah, all right it was quite generic even though it was still a good song but that part really really made a big strong difference because what i really like as well is clean singing in mellow death is not is not special in itself but their clean singing had this epic feel it felt huge and the video captured that, I think, as well, by a lot of all of them seemingly singing it with their heads thrown back. It was like it was a big deal. Like, this is a big deal moment. So that, my natural inclination is, yeah, it is a big fucking deal, and it sounds like a big deal. Around that, the death metal, the obviously aggressive vocals, he's very, very fucking talented. Like I said, during it, take a breath, because this part where I'm like, hold up a second, did he switch tone while singing? Or did, did they edit that where it sounds like it's there's no gap? You've just gone from one to the other immediately. Because if they, if he's doing that shit for real, that's incredibly impressive. I think the guitars are buried a little bit behind those vocals because they, they're unrelenting. There's no gaps for you to really... Sometimes the guitars step forward and you hear this diddle -diddle -diddle and stuff like that. Other times I'm like, oh, I can hear that. I can hear it. It's not that I can't hear it, but like I want to hear it louder. Um, and when it initially started, like I was really into the drums, but I found like myself, just not distracted by the drums, but forgetting about them because I was enjoying the other aspects. Yeah. This isn't negatives. This is just like, oh, okay. For me, these are like the things that make this stand out a little bit differently, whether or not they work all the time. And I think it's exciting. It's fast. It's got all the elements. Of it. It's, it's that thing where it's like, oh yeah, it's a, it's, of course it's a mellow deaf song, but it's a good one. Why would I have any complaints? The fuck is that a complaint about a good mellow deaf song? It's a nice little bit of symphony as well. And that's the thing, like uh, when, when I was back, when I was first kind of really, I'm not allowed to say, we're already into melodic death metal, but maybe I wasn't quite aware of it as a genre. Mm. I'm just that, I was a fan of bands like Out the Gates and that, you know, and just seeing that as metal. And then when you listen to bands like Out the Gates and you listen to, you know, that sort of music, Night Rages and stuff like that, this at the time were extremely different to me because I hadn't made it as far as, say, I don't know, see a Scar Symmetries. Yeah. So to hear Mellow Death, and all of a sudden there was like a little bit of synth in it. And I was like, holy fuck. What yeah, what the fuck's he done there? <laughs> <laughs> this is insanity. <laughs> you know? Cats um, and dogs and living together. I got to Scar Symmetry and then I was like, okay, they're all fucking doing it now. And then when I listened <laughs> back to it, and I think that's what it is now. It's not like maybe that I think it's generic. It's because I listened back to it now, having now listened to songs like 
you know limits to infinity by scar symmetry and you know and i listen back to it and i think like it's in, in a way it's more like scar symmetry than it is like the standard meta death of the at the gates and stuff like that you know um, which do you prefer you well. that's a tough question i don't think i prefer either i think i like them both but i struggle sometimes to see them as exactly the same genre but i'm reluctant to create a new one <laughs> ah okay okay <laughs> it's almost like because because there is like you know whether we we don't categorize it so and i'm glad we don't because mellow death just gets lumped in as mellow death but i think there's a very good argument to see a traditional mellow death and a more modern style of it you know and at the gates are more in the traditional camp and mm. like soil worker are more in the modern camp you know yeah yeah, it's yeah because as well, Metal Death evolves has evolved and changed over time. Where variations, I mean, look at a band like In Flames, for example, and the varies on that. And in a way, personal opinion, obviously, only there's a lot more in common these days. Actually, with if you look at the modern sort of Metal Death, I know this isn't a modern song, but this style that is happy to incorporate, you know, the synth and the kind of chunky kind of rhythms, actually, with the the core camp. You yeah, know, you yeah, kind yeah. Of see a bridge between modern mellow death and metalcore to a degree. Yeah, yeah. You, you see it now as well. Bands description where it'll be like uh, inspired by Gothenburg mellow death sound, uh, but blackened with touches of hardcore metalcore and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, right, this yeah. is what we do now. Definitely. Chuck it all on a pot. <laughs> <laughs> it's a win because I liked it too much. Like, there's just there's nothing. You know, you played down my expectations as well expertly done <laughs> so that way it was like i can only ever go up <laughs> what do you guys think let us know in the comments thank you very much for watching you can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as on facebook instagram twitter and tumblr go to patreon to help us out over there that's patreon.com forward slash gbhbl as well as big cartel where you can find some of our merchandise we have a podcast running on soundcloud and apple podcasts and of course if you like this video do us a favour, hit the subscribe button and help the channel grow. Games, horror and heavy metal, what else is life for?